Hi, I'm Doc Emmett, and today's topic is NIL and what all college athletes should know. So NIL stands for Name, Image, and Likeness. So say a company comes to a college athlete and they want them to endorse one of their products, then this would be NIL compensation or compensation in exchange for publicity. So say, for example, Under Armour or Adidas or Nike comes to a college athlete and they want them to take a picture in their apparel or their sneakers and then they want them to post that picture on their social media, share it with all of their followers and become one of those social influencers. That would be NIL compensation. Now, currently, the NCAA does not allow for NIL compensation. And if college athletes were to receive compensation for their name, image, and likeness, then they would be ruled ineligible because it's against current NCAA bylaws. But what college athletes should also know, it is quite possible for the academic year 2021-2022 that the NCAA will relax its restrictions around employment and allow college athletes to receive compensation based on their name, image, and likeness. What all college athletes should also know is that currently several states have either passed or plan to pass name, image, and likeness legislation. In fact, as of July 1st, 2021, College athletes in the state of Florida will be able to receive compensation for their name, image, and likeness, but only if they compete in a school in the state of Florida. And lastly, it is quite possible that we might have federal legislation that guides all states with regard to college athletes' name, image, and likeness. And that would, of course, supersede any state laws or state legislation. One thing's for sure, it's a fluid situation. 